Hi. Hey, my name is Todd Caberline, and uh, I, I wanted to put together kind of a, a rough video for you guys that want to hook up an access database to Plan Swift. So uh, bear with me. It's not going to be very professional as usual. Um, so if you want to create a an access database and link it to Plan Swift, it's not all that difficult um, or time consuming. And I wanted to kind of show you guys how it works. Uh, right now, I, I wrote the landscape plugin for uh, Plan Swift, and it's hooked to a database. Uh, and I have several, well, actually dozens of different tables hooked up to these. And these are a live link to access, and it's really great. Uh, so we'll just kind of get started. Uh, the basics. I've created a an Excel uh, takeoff, uh, whatever you want to call it, spreadsheet. Uh, the, the thing is about this is you put it in the format. There's there's two keys here. The top column should be spelled exactly as the products or the <laughs> properties. Told you it was going to be rough. The properties within Plan Swift. So you have name, description, cost each, and you can import anything you want as long as they match up to Plan Swift's. Uh, and I'll, I'll, we'll we'll look at that real quick here. Um, let me let me drag Plan Swift into the screen. So, for example, um, I, I'm, we're going to do one for new count, and we have uh, name, description, cost each. If I wanted to bring in more, create more, I could do that in the advanced properties. That's that's for another lesson. Okay. So let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet. Okay. And I created one with just some names. It could be two by fours or plants or concrete or whatever it is you want. Um, piece of cake. So first thing I want, <clears throat> excuse me, is change the name of this because this will come in handy in a little bit. And I'm going to name it uh, uh, Friends. Okay, these are all my friends, all seven or eight of them. So, anyways, and I put some properties in here, some names and description of them, and cost each, how much you would pay on the street for these people. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty much done with this. I'm going to go ahead and save it someplace where I can find it. Um, oh, yeah, never mind. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm going to put it on my computer. We'll just stick it on the desktop for now and we'll call it friends. Okay. And we're done. Okay. So I can go ahead and close that out if I want. Um, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and bring up Microsoft access. Okay. And what we're going to do with access is get it in the right screen here. Okay, what we're going to do with access is I've already just created a blank. Um, in fact, let's let's redo that. Okay, a new blank database desktop, and we'll call this one friends. Okay. So there we go. Okay, so now we're ready to import that Excel spreadsheet. It's not difficult. Um, go to external data, and where it says access or Excel, and I'm using uh, 2013. Uh, this will work from 2003 to th 2013. There's a couple little tricks you'll have to pay attention to. Uh, so basically, um, we're going to hit import the data. Okay, and it's going to ask us to find that file. So we're going to go find that thing. And it's on my desktop and it's called friends and we'll hit open. Okay. And now we can import this into a new data. So you don't really have to click anything here. And we're going to hit OK. And it's going to ask us some questions. Uh, make sure you have the first row contains column headings. That, and that's the first row of your spreadsheet. And again, these should match exactly what uh, Plan Swift has. Okay. And I'm going to check something out real quick. Uh, yeah, okay, I did that right. It looked like there was an extra space there and that would throw everything off. So we're going to go ahead and hit next and you can actually hit finish. Uh, we're pretty much done here. So we've got our table of friends here. There's our table of friends and these prices have changed and you can change your prices here or you'll be able to change them in plan swift. Uh, you can hook up directly to Excel. So when you, make the changes in Excel. There's a live link to Plan Swift, or excuse me, Access, and then to Plan Swift, but we won't worry about that right now. So now we're ready to import this into our Plan Swift. Pretty cool, right? So 
we're going to bring Plan Swift back in here. <laughs> and then uh, what we're going to do is go to that uh, list that you have up here. Okay, and we're going to hit New. And it's going to be a list from the Microsoft Access file tables. So we'll click on that, hit Next. And it's going to ask us to find that file. Okay, we'll probably should hit my cool my heels here. I forgot to do some. We're going to save this. We got to save it as okay. And right here, this is real key. If you don't do this, it won't hook up. We have to save it to a 2002 to 2003 uh, access database. The reason was when PlanSwift wrote this, they used that particular format. And if you try to import it any other way, it won't come in. Okay, so we're going to click that and we're going to save it as. Uh, yes. Okay, we're going to save it as friends on the desktop. Okay, so sorry about that little uh, distraction there. So we can go ahead and close this out now. And now we're going to go ahead and find that friends uh, access database right there. Okay, so we click on that. And we hit next and let me bring in plan swift one more time okay so you can see that friends is here now this is a weird little trick and i don't know why it works but if you click that box you should see the tables but really what you have to do if you click that little plus button that table will disappear i don't know why so let's just go ahead and close out of plan swift okay and that way the table will be there so we're just basically restarting plan swift okay it's another little hiccup don't know why um and hopefully plan swift is you know going to work on that as well as updating the the uh, microsoft access uh format to 2013. so let me get my plan swift started uh okay Boom. okay here we are so we should be able to go to our list and we see friends and there's our friends okay and that's our list right here now you can change these prices here in access and it'll change or excuse me in plan swift and it'll change it in access really cool stuff uh, you can change in access hit save it changes it here so that's a live link okay and make sure you don't change your path to that uh, particular access database let's say if it's stored in your documents or your plans with files that path has to stay the same you can't just oh i'm going to move my access to some other folder then it's not going to work you have to relink it okay so we're going to go to our templates and i'll go to my little database template and i've created one here and right now i have nothing right so we're going to go ahead and link to this and what you, I'm going to have it linked to when I choose a name it'll choose the description for me and the cost each so we'll go to advance uh, under name here on top double click on that thing okay and pull that back in and we're going to call this a list it's not a simple list simple list is what you put here this is a list and we've got to find that list in the list file here and that's our friends excuse me and we need to find that and hit the plus and there's our friends table okay double click on that now let's go ahead and bring in the visible columns these are the ones that are going to show up when you do your little drop down search so if you want to see cost each uh, you can if you want to see description we can for this uh, scenario we're going to go ahead and just put uh, cost each in there we won't do description uh, okay we're going to show the search uh, we want to auto column with too. show search means that if you type in b bill and, and barb or whoever will come up uh, result column is going to be in the name because that's what we're choosing we're going to pull it in and now the additional properties and again these have to be spelt exactly the same and i would recommend copy and pasting um i'll do that here a copy uh, well maybe i can't okay so description Okay, did I spell that right? Yeah, and then uh, that's it. So now we're, we're done, hopefully. <laughs> so hit OK. Now I'm going to go back to my form. Now you see this little drop down. That means I have Bob, or my names, and then the cost, because remember we made cost uh, uh, visible. So we're, we're good here. So what I'm going to do is let's go back to, uh, I'm going to open up or a new project. And we'll just call it, uh, I don't know, what do you guys want to call it? Let's call it 
uh, test, and then we'll call it database. All right, so we hit next. Um, our already has that number. Okay, test two. Next. Uh, this is part of my landscape plugin. We won't worry about that. Uh, we're not going to... Yeah, let's just grab these. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we're ready to start using this. Okay. Uh, so... Anyways, that, it took 10 minutes to do that to show you guys so far. So it's not real difficult. Um, and you would have to do that for each type of takeoff property you have. And like I said, on my landscape plugin, I have 100, 100 tables probably. And each one of those has 50 to 1,000 uh, landscape database items. So it works out pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to close this out because that's just terrible. And let's bring this up. And I'm just going to throw a scale on there. Of 20 so I'm gonna go in my templates over here because that's where we're working out of our templates and there's my database demo and new count when I hit that green button I can go ahead and say I want to buy a Bob here and uh, go from there oh yeah you're gonna see something too it's it's gonna select the price here in the cost each in the advanced properties as well as description of Bob that's cool so while you may not see it on your form um, it's going to be there in estimating okay so here's our estimate for Bob and let me close this down a little bit here okay and Bob was uh, four dollars and forty cents there's four of them we didn't need to really mark them up and let's go ahead and uh, bring in description just so you guys can see that it's there and Bob is cool okay so Bob's cool he's four dollars and forty cents a piece and uh, that's pretty much it so again uh, what I have in the plugin is I have all these tables here okay and drainage and each one of those has a price material cost whatever it is and make sure that um, you have spelt everything exactly what's in your uh, properties window so if you look in my properties window for uh, let's go landscape pro plus let me hide it, find that one here because that's my database one is if, if I go here and I open that up and I go to sleeves you're gonna see uh, come on well it's not gonna open for me you're gonna see come on properties <laughs> Anyway, it's probably because I'm recording right now. Um, probably the best thing to do is let's go back and do a quick takeoff. Okay. Landscape Pro. Uh, let's let's go with uh, drainage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start that. So you're going to see new properties that I've put in. Okay. Um, name is uh, right here on the top. Okay, but there's some stuff that's done in Plan Swift, and I've added those in, and I can show you that on a later video. Uh, so type of bedding, and again, whatever is in the properties, I have it tied into a direct uh, type with uh, Plan Swift. 13 minutes. Hope that helped. If you have questions, email me or put a little letter or something like that on uh, the YouTube, and then I'll try to get back to you. Okay. Have a blessed day, guys. Thanks.